This project started over four years ago when I needed to find a lighting solution for my desk. Unfortunately, with only an off-brand Dremel and some MDF, the project wasn't exactly bulletproof. But with my recent acquisition of a Shapeoko and the desire to run before I walk, I decided some aluminum heat sinks were in order. So let's get to machining and we can worry about the rest later. So, with those out of the way, and my printer having just finished up the cases, let's get to building. I started by trimming my LED strips to length and sticking them down on the heat sink using the bezel as a guide. Oh, and don't forget to throw some tape under the ends of your strips to prevent shorts. Don't ask how I know. Throw in your dimmers and measure out enough wire to connect them to your power input. You might have to sand the top of the holes if there was too much sagging during your print. Solder one end of your wire into the XT60 connector and screw the other ones down into the input of your dimmers. Then I just pop the whole thing back together with a ton of CA glue. While you've got the glue out, be sure to stick in that quarter 20 nut as a tripod mount. Run some wires from the output of the dimmers up through the cutout in the heat sink and solder them onto the second outermost LED strip. Now just repeat this process for the other color on the other side. This next part can get a bit complicated. You want to connect all the strips of the same color in parallel, positive to positive and negative to negative. I did it by snaking the power through each strip, out the end and into the next one. If you want your wiring to be nice and neat, start from one side and work your way over using little arches. all the wiring done, so put the bezel on and screw it down making sure not to crush any of the wires. And that's it! You've just finished the most basic version of this light. Oh, I forgot to mention. I wanted to make the perfect light, but that's impossible, so instead I made every light. Any size or color or number of colors you want. All you have to do is download the Fusion file and open up the parameters menu. There you can change the number of strips, the length of the strips, the number of dimmers, the location of the dimmers, even how you power it. It's all up to you, whatever you need. You don't even need a CNC in order to make them. You could cut the heat sinks out with a bandsaw and a drill press, or even print them if you weren't working them too hard. I also included the files for just a simple enclosure that you can glue to the back of a piece of aluminum from the hardware store. In fact, that's what I did for my biggest light, and I would recommend you do the same if you're making one that's really large. Well thought out lighting is the cheapest and easiest way to make a huge difference in your video quality. You can even watch the lighting improve during the build in this video, as I started to finish them and incorporate them into my workflow. Making them small and portable makes it easy to light your shots properly, and the variable color temperature lets you experiment quickly with new ideas. The whole point of this, for me, was to continue to break down the barriers that stop me from filming. 
to make getting beautiful shots as easy as possible and to not have to worry about the logistics and just try things and learn. In that sense, I'm calling this project a massive success, and I can't wait to use them for everything in the future. There's links to everything you'll need in the description, so make some, and then make something beautiful with them.